that our hope is to maintain the, the spirit of creativity. We will try to offer our music in a positive way with respect to the people who come to hear it. We realize that we are fortunate to have such an incredible experience, and we plan to do our best. We have been formulating strategy now for the last three or four months because we are excited to have a possibility like this and we did not want to disrespect this opportunity and so we tried to really prepare for it. In the end, our work is offered with the same love that you have in folk music and musics all over the world for whatever time period. As a professional student of music, I feel very fortunate to have discovered something to devote my life to. And part of the challenge of being a musician and creative person is to away from the ego and try to find a way to, to be with people, to be alive, to do something that's honest. In America, for instance, everything has changed. Pop music is on the internet. Everyone is having a ball. But for creative musicians who are not popular musicians, it's almost as if we don't exist in America. And so this is an incredibly wonderful time and opportunity to build something different. And so in many ways, our work, my work, is connected to the work of this great museum. Um, past, present, and future as one time unit. And that's what we have here. We have the signatures from the past, that can help us in the present, that can give us insight into what the future could be for those who are interested in those kind of questions. And so, to cut this short as far as talking about the technical dimensions or conceptual dimensions of the music, I would only say, in the end, the sonic genome and the music system was conceived as an affirmation of love. It was not conceived as a rejection of tradition, it was conceived as an affirmation of tradition, looking for a way to build a model that is inclusive, that brings people together. Uh, and finally, we hope to have celebration in the music, to have fun in the music, because we're, we're very lucky to be doing our work and to have people who are open to experience. And I'll stop there with the formal uh, talk. <laughs> One, I thank Europe. I thank the European people, the great European people. Were it not for Europe, I would have had no career in music. In America, I don't even exist. Only in the past five years do they kind of talk about me, but there's no work. It is Italy, France, Germany, Great Britain, Austria. These are the countries that made it possible for me to have a life in music. Mm -hmm. And to come back to Italy, I mean, I love Italy. I think Italy is one of the great countries. I, if I lived in Italy, I would weigh 800 pounds because the food in Italy is so good. But the culture in Italy and the connection between past, present, and future in Italy is so wonderful, so healthy. In my country, we have not advanced to the point where we have an understanding of life on the level of the great Italian people.